All right, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be hitting up shoulders. Now, just to bring anybody who doesn't know up to speed, last week was a deload week, and during the deload, I was on vacation doing some bodyboarding, sandblasted the skin off the top of my toes and my two feet. Um, so I'm kind of having to try and work around that injury. Um, so this week's shoulder workout, it'll look pretty much like the, the other mesocycles have looked, with the exception that on the where I normally finish off um, with chest supported barbell face pulls, I, I'll not be able to do that because whenever, whenever I did back at the beginning of the week, I realised that any chest supported work, I'm actually using my toes to brace myself on the ground and it's really, really painful. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in, instead of chest supported barbell face pulls, I'm going to finish off with um, high cable wide grip pull, uh, face pulls. Um, uh, same sort of principle as the barbell, the chest supported barbell face pull or a standing barbell face pull for that matter. The idea is to keep your elbows up. Very easy in, in these sorts of movements to drop your elbows down, let your elbows drift down and start using more of your, your sort of your lats. Um, so the idea will be to try and keep the elbows elevated and out and pull the, pull the bar you know, more towards my, my face as opposed to down toward my, my chest. Um, but other than that, the workout's going to look pretty much the same as the, the previous workouts or, or previous shoulder workouts in previous mesocycles. So we'll start off with some shrugs, then we'll move on to some low cable um, lateral raises, then some high cable lateral raises, and then we'll do some seated cable face pulls, so, sorry, seated high cable face pulls, and then finish off, like I said, with the, uh, the seated wide grip face pull and see how that goes. All right, let's get to it.
right, that's going to do it for shoulders. All in all, really, really happy with the way the, 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 way the workout went. Um, I didn't break any records, but to begin the mesocycle, I'm training around an injury, so I was never going to break any records. Um, did better on the shrugs than I was imagining I was going to, uh, I thought I was going to do, because I thought the shrugs was going to be one of the more difficult exercises for the injury, that I, the wee injury that I'm, I'm carrying. But it actually went pretty well. Now, I didn't get up anywhere close. I think it was something like 10 kilos away from my previous best. Um, but I'm close enough at the beginning, at this stage of the mesocycle, that I'm, I'm really happy with, with where I am, to be honest. I can see myself, once I get through the injury, maybe in sort of four or five weeks' time, I can see myself getting back close to where that previous best was. Um, I'm moving on from there. The... Um, the low cable lateral raises and the high cable lateral raises, both of those went exceptionally well. I was struggling. I, I struggle with the cable with cable lateral raise variations. I struggle with getting the, the the plane of motion right on the on the on the movement. And it takes me it can take me a, a few a number of weeks to get into it, but I felt that I get into it quite quickly today. So I did. Um and hopefully that means that over the next lot of weeks, the, you know, my form will improve. I'll sort of get into the groove um, more quickly and, and, and better. I was able to get quite a number of reps. The high cable lateral raise, very, very easy. If anyone, anytime you ever try a high cable lateral raise, um, it's very easy to do two things. It's very easy to turn it into a rear delt movement. So it is, um, and by that, what I mean is, instead of bringing the arm across your body, bringing your arm around your body, there's a, a nice sort of medium spot that you have to be in where you're taking, imagine, the way I try to imagine it is I'm, I'm lifting my elbow up and out. The other thing that's really uh, probably even more easy to do with the, the high cable variation of the, um, the, the lateral raise is to turn it into a triceps exercise. Because you're bringing your arm across your body and your arm, your elbow, you're bending at the elbow. It's very easy whenever you get down as far as you can here to extend the elbow to get the last wee bit out. And I, I find myself doing this all the time, so I do. Um, just be aware of it when you're doing it. Try to be aware of it when you're doing it. And it, it's a great move to do length and partials with, especially that high cable variation because you're in a really super stretch position anyway. So you are. So like, even if you're only bringing your arm down, and this is, you don't need to, this is where, this is the, the, the trap that I fall into personally. I'm trying to get the, get my hand down and round. And that's when you start to activate the triceps. Whenever I start to feel my triceps taking, not taking over, but where I start to sort of feel the, the triceps stiffening up from doing that, I try to, as best I can, to turn it into just a partial, where I'm just doing, I'm just making this sort of movement with my elbow and try and take my arm out of it all together. It can be difficult to calm, but it's just, if. It's something to be aware of if you're trying it for yourselves. Um, and the, the, face, the face pull, actually, the, the seated face pull went exceptionally well. I'm back up to my previous best on it. So I am, and that's the day one of, of this mesocycle. So I'm really, really, really happy with, with where, I'm, where I'm at in that. Um, I'm maybe trying, that may be an indication that I'm not pushing myself hard enough in that particular exercise. Um, and the, the wide grip seated face pull, uh, I actually think that that was every bit as good as the, the chest support of barbell face pull to the point where I might keep that in this entire mesocycle, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, it, it went, I felt it went very, very well. So I, do have, I felt it went very well. I'll have to see in the next couple of days just how, how sore the rear delts in particular get. And essentially all across that sort of, um, really only the, upper traps and the, the delts and their own voids that I got today. Um, so for anyone just to, anyone that didn't see the, the back workout that I did at the beginning of the week, because I couldn't do any of the seated uh, cable rows, um, whenever I'm doing seated rows, the wide grip and the narrow grip variations, it, I, I'm able to get it hitting the sort of mid and lower traps on some rhomboids on some rear delts. So. I didn't get that this week because I wasn't able to do that particular variation. Like I said, I did, I did a, um, a, high cable, a high cable row and high cable rows, especially the narrow grip one variation, very much only works, like, like I said in that video, for me anyway, it only really works the, the lots and the Terry's major. So it does. So I haven't, in my back workout, I didn't get any of the mid, uh, the mid traps 
and rhomboids and rear delts that I would normally get on back day. So it'll remain to be seen just over the next couple of days how uh, how sore those those bits of my, my back get, given the fact that I've only really been able to hit them on shoulder day. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. If you've enjoyed the video, feed the anabolic algorithm with a comment, share, likes, and subscribes, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.